rope clocks. People can count hours by burning ropes. They tie knots in the rope to mark the hours. People in Korea once used rope clocks. This is a picture of a rope clock and it's part of the Smithsonian Institution's collection. It takes one hour for the rope to burn from one knot to the next. Candle clocks and rope clocks do not need the sun. Can the candle clock or the rope clock be used over again? No. Water clocks. Water clocks were used long, long ago. The first water clock measured the water leaking out of a big pot. This is an ancient Egyptian water clock made about 2,200 years ago. I love that picture. Different water lines were marked on the pot, one for each hour. People could tell time by looking at the line and the water left in the pot. Water clocks did not need the sun. They could work at night. They could be used over and over again. Hourglass. Another way of telling time is with an hourglass. It has an unusual shape. Sand falls from the top to the bottom. This takes one hour. Then the glass is turned upside down. An hourglass and a water clock can be used again and again. 